So, it's Friday and firstly I want to say that I'm sorry that I didn't upload anything last week. Um, I made a vlog but I didn't like it and I don't... Excuse me. I don't feel like I want to, you know, basically publish anything that I don't like. I mean, anymore at least. So, yeah. And to be fair, I didn't feel like uh, actually doing anything. So, I don't really know how long this vlog will be. Um, so, yeah. I'm currently, I mean, I am reading loads. I mean, um, I at least finished these this week. Um, and I think I finished these, like, last week. Like on s Sunday, I think, and I I finished these this week and loads loads of other books. So it's just I'm doing a lot of reading and um, yeah, that is kind of everything I am, you know, reading physically during audiobook and ebook and I'm currently doing my Colleen Hoover vlog. I just finished the next part that I'm up to. I think it's part four. So just finished, not finished it, uh, but I finished all the books for that so I should be able to, you know, um, basically film that um, once I feel like that and um, so right now I am reading, I think it was Side Story on Kindle. I don't know what I want to start physically yet. Um, just because I have been in, I wouldn't call it a slump. I'm just not feeling like reading. That's the biggest part. Um, so I'm just, I'm kind of pushing, but not too much, you know. So... I don't really know what I will start. Uh, I'm also, you know, watching TV and everything and just overall I'm just tired and I just kind of want just a break, you know. So I don't really know. We will just have to see and I don't even know how long this vlog will be. So, so um, it's Sunday so this will probably be like a chill Sunday with me. So, the start I filmed on Friday, um, nothing, I mean, I've been reading, but nothing kind of has happened. I finished, now I have finished West Side Love Story and gave it three stars. So, basically, what this one was for, uh, it's a Kindle challenge that basically you have, if you have the Kindle app, you will have, like, this challenge for like three months where you basically have different types of things that you can do and yeah so that one was basically for that and so far I mean I'm trying to read at least 50 pages of an ebook I usually end up reading a hundred just so I am able to you know get a little up there uh, in the counts and um yeah, and then I did listen to a little bit of Firekeeper's Daughter. Uh, that's the audiobook that I'm currently on. And then I finished two physical books. So I finished Saga Volume 9 and I gave this nine, nine stars. Mm. Uh, five stars. It was... I'm really, really loving this series. Uh, it ended on a cliffhanger, so I can't wait to continue on with number 10. Now, there have been some complaints about the 10th volume. So that's going to be interesting. And you know, a few days ago, I also finished Opposition and Obsession. Uh, obsession? Obsession, yeah. So, you know, just reading quite a lot. It's so native <laughs> because it's only me here. And then the book that I have been reading for, I mean, I started on Friday and then finished yesterday is uh, The Consequence. So this one, 
is the third and last book in the Evolution of Sin. So the first one is The Affair and The Secret. Now this series I have not given a rating. The reason is uh, basically this series is like a fully the first book we are following basically the main two characters and basically he cheats on his girlfriend of four years. Um, so yeah, it's um, it's just not something I want to rate now. The reason why I have been reading this is basically to get into this world, uh, basically the Lombardi, Lombardi what, right? I think that's the name, uh, world. So basically, the next one we are following Giselle's sister Cosima, and then after that we are following Alina, which is basically the girlfriend that gets cheated on in this series. And um, I mean the epilogue in here, we kind of see what is going on in the, at least like um, her, like Elena's book. However, we don't know how she got there, so I'm really curious to see basically how Elena gets there with the man that she's with. And yeah, so this I give no rating, and uh, to be honest, the only person I kind of like in here is Elena because, um, I mean, it's it's kind of a spoiler, but then it's also kind of not a spoiler. So basically, um, Giselle is Elena's sister. And now Elena, uh, basically Elena and Giselle has never gotten along. And that is because of uh, basically a guy that kind of put them into this mode where they don't like each other. And it's just, she says that it's, it's not, you know, going to... We, we will never be best friends. And But one thing that I have to say is really great with Elena. Even if she doesn't like her sister, when her sister is in danger, basically Elena puts that aside and goes and help her. And that is... That is... She just needs credit for that. That even if she doesn't like her sister, she is willing to basically help her sister when she's in danger and that is like she needs creds for that you know and um yeah that is kind of that is like a mild spoiler without anything you know just yeah so uh next month i am a going to um basically try and read what is left of this world the from Gianna Darling so that's going to be really really interesting you know to see how the rest of the books are just because I am afraid of the next duology which is Cosmos book so yeah the plan for today, I don't really know. That's great, right? Uh, I have, uh, so, I have the um, dog ass right here. Uh, I have three books, that, like physical books, that I can choose from. So, I have a week to finish three physical books. That, it should be doable. Um, so, yeah, the first one... Is Veins of Magic. This is on my TBR for this month. Um, it's the second book in the Otherworld series. We are still following the same couple, at least for this book. It's a kind of like Beauty and the Beast retelling. Now I will say that it's much more kind of than that. It's uh, yeah, I really really loved the first one, which is Heart of the Fae, and. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see this one. So this one is uh, 300 and so pages. Uh, 334 pages, so we we should be fine, you know. 
shouldn't take me that long. Then we have The Alchemist of Loom, which is my Elise Kova book for this month. Uh, I have no idea what this is about. Uh, so it should be really, really interesting to to start a new series in like that in, in another world than in the Air Awakens world. That is the Alchemist of Loom. And then we have Winter, which is a huge, uh, ginormous book. Um, which is the last in this series. And in this one we are following Winter, which is um, basically um, Queen Levana's step... Uh, children. Stepchild. Step uh, yeah. So this one is huge. This one is 800 pages. Yeah. So that is kind of what we are at. I will. I don't know what I want to start. To be honest, I have no clue what I want to start. I am. I have not been in the biggest reading mood lately, and it's it's kind of been really sad. Um, uh, I will really have to see. I am definitely going to continue on with Firekeeper's Daughter, which is my audiobook. Um, and then I am going to start. I don't really remember what ebook I decided to go with. It was something. <laughs> Sometimes you win 